John here guys and today we're talking about the Radio Master TX16S V2. But is it something that you need to upgrade to or is it just something that people need to be aware of if they're buying for the first time? A new version of the most popular RC radio for quadcopters, drone racers, freestylers, and cinema pilots. This is my classic Radio Master TX16S. This is what I call the Johnny 5 edition because I have upgraded the gimbals to the AGO1 metal gimbals. Mm. I've also added these leather grippies and made a few other special modifications that you can check out in my full review of this thing. But the most notable thing is what is inside? We can finally have Express LRS built into the Radio Master. That's right, this Radio Master Zorro radio, which is only $100, has Express LRS built in, and we've been wondering when can we have the same thing on a full size radio? This has Express LRS built into it. And why is that significant? Well, as you can see in my radio, I have the ghost module plugged into the back right here. This low probe case is what I use to carry my goggles and radio. And you know what else I have in here? All of these other modules right here. That's right. And two of these are Express LRS. Do I really need to keep carrying four modules with me everywhere I go? Right now, I'm pretty much mostly using Express LRS and Ghost. Well, with that combination, I use Ghost for racing and Express LRS for pretty much everything else. I do still use Crossfire on occasion for some long range stuff, but everything else is pretty much those two. So now with this V2, I can have Express LRS built in I can keep my ghost module plugged in and I don't have to carry anything else with me. This comes with the four-way adjustable gimbals. They're not the metal AGO ones, but they're actually very, very smooth. It also has some upgraded tooling to the radio itself. You can have a little plug right here to get to the little battery. The battery door has been upgraded so that it's a little bit easier to take on and off. It has a headphone jack in there so that if you do have those alerts on your radio, but you don't want to disturb the other people around you, you can plug it in there and listen to those alerts such as low battery, low telemetry, etc. That could be really useful for people that are flying around with other people and you don't want to disturb them or even more useful for any of those folks that are on set. Alex Vanover posted a picture with Jake Gyllenhaal and Michael Bay at the premiere of the new Ambulance movie, he could have used this feature right here and still had the warnings in his ear. Now, does everyone need to go run out and buy this? The case of it is very, very similar. There are a few changes internally. Um, the back is very, very different. Now, one thing that is very cool is that now you can swap these little grips in the very back. Now, the original has this little finger slot right here if you kind of hold your radio like this and your pinky kind of sits on there. But for those that don't like that, and I didn't always find that comfortable, you now have a second pair that comes with the radio. You get two sets that is completely flat. I really wanted to put this onto my old radio. I had a huge race coming up and it was not enough time for me to get this set up to bring to the Mayhem Team Race. I'm gonna have a full film about that very soon. They are not backwards compatible. The back plate on the older radio has this little shoulder built into the actual molding of the plastic. It's not just a plastic cover. This one though, they have done it differently so you can have flat. So somewhat of an incremental change, but if you have been waiting for Express LRS, and if you're a new buyer, this is the radio to get. Now you still can choose the standard multi-protocol module, and that is not as attractive as it used to be. You used to always want that multi-protocol module because a lot of the tiny whoops and bind and flies that you would buy would be FR Sky compatible or DSMX or something else like that, and you would wanna have that four-in-one module in there. A lot of people can fly everything Express LRS and not even need a module. And then you can just save this empty module bay for anytime you wanna do long range with Crossfire, 
racing with ghosts or one of the other protocols or you can just get a plug-in multi protocol module so now you don't have to worry about carrying around a bunch of these and it's really really nice radio master has been really listening to the community remember the big costa rica race that we featured in that short film on min shan kim they were one of the primary sponsors of that event so it's really nice to be able to support companies in the hobby that are actually supporting the hobby right back if you have been waiting for an Express Olas version and you want to sell your old version just so you can carry one less thing with you, I know there's some of you out there like that. This is going to be the one for you. But also, if you have your radio set up exactly the way that you want to and you don't mind having another Express LRS version, you're pretty much good to go to keep with your old one. You can always upgrade the metal gimbals. This is a very nice and worthwhile upgrade, although a little bit expensive. You can upgrade the side grips like this. I went to the Mayhem 12 hour team race and man, I'm so happy that my Radio Master was configured exactly the way that I want it with these custom 533 hybrid pinch stick ends that I have a review of on the channel as well. And so when you wanna fly for that amount of time, you need the radio to be really customized to you. So this is a great starting block. I can't believe that these things go for $200. I remember when I first started, premium high-end radios were really like three to $400. Something like this, the X9D Special. But now you can get a radio with hall sensor gimbals, with the protocol that you want inside it, with customizable back end finger grips. Hey, have you been waiting for something like this to finally hit the market? A good radio that is not a gamer style. Now this is a really nice option, the Zorro. It only costs $100. But some of you more serious hobbyists prefer a more traditional sized radio that has longer battery life and everything else. The other nice thing is it does come shipped with Edge TX on board. So you already have that compatibility with all of those nice features and you don't have to deal with the never updated OpenTX. You can also flash custom Edge TX on it. It already has Ghost Widget installed. Oh, so nice. <laughs> Remember when we used to play games with something so small like this? This is a serious piece of gear. When you show up to the park with this, to the bando with this, to the race with this, people know you're serious. Take your hobby serious. This is the one physical interface that you have with your quad. Don't skip that. Don't skip this. <laughs>